Good evening, everybody. Hello, I hope this is finding you all well. And I'm pleased to be sharing some information with you. My name's Louise Riley, and I am an advisory board member for the UK, Ireland and Iceland, and also a soaring manager as a forever business owner. So the subject that I'm going to be sharing with you today is all about our supplements and to do with connection. So mind, body and connection. What is the, what is the, the whole thought process before that? Well, I suppose when we think about this particular time of year, mind, body and soul, we, we're changing, aren't we? It's all starting to change into new seasons. But also for a lot of people, it starts to give that thought process of new chapters are happening. We know that there's children starting back at school in September, a new year. I know what it was like when I was a child and that, that feeling of uh, excitement, but also a little bit of stress as well, not knowing what I'm going back to, what class I'm going to be back in, um, who I'm going to be friends with, especially when you're moving maybe from junior up to senior. And I'm sure a lot of parents can relate to that with their children at this particular time. And then of course, we have college and universities and for some young, young adults, not just changing the whole environment of the actual school, but even where they live and that can have a massive impact as well. And then of course, as we go into the seasons, we know that that can also have an impact because we are going to be dealing with shorter days and, and longer nights. That means we're going to have less sunlight which is also important for for our, our mind and our body and our soul so with that in mind i thought what i was going to do i would like to share some products with you which i think are very important key products around this time of the year as we get autumn going into winter now as we said that it's this is to do with the connections of the mind and the body and look at how they actually work synergistically together. Now, as I'm going through all this information, um, what I'd like you to do is if you've got any questions, then please, um, can you pop your questions in the question box? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave answering the questions till the end of the webinar, if that's okay with you. Because sometimes you find that the questions that you have may be answered as we go through further down through the actual webinar. But I thought what I'd start off with doing is just talk a little bit about the brain. So here's a few interesting facts about the brain for you. Well, what does the brain do as one of the most important organs that we have in the body? Well, it is there because it is, a, it is there to support you know, the working of our, of our memory, our reasoning, our knowledge, our, just our general thoughts, our mood. It's also to do with our movement, how we speak, as well as supporting the expression of hormones in our body, also controlling uh, temperature, as well as also the regulation of blood pressure, breathing, so many, so many different roles that our brain has. Now, Another part of the brain is what we call the neurotransmission or our nervous system that is connected to the brain. And this is, you could say, it's like the wiring that we have in our, in our body and it is helping to send messages. And messages are sent from the brain around to the rest of the body. In fact, one of the parts of, that we have in the brain is through this expression called methylation and methylation is a very very important thing to consider because this is as i say it's like a control panel and the control panel every second of every day you are having billions of different methylation uh, processes going on for example the expression of dna uh, everything that's going on in your body when hormones are released so i always say it's like when the fire alarm was to if the fire alarm was suddenly to go off in your home right now then the first thing you're going to feel is this like <gasps> this this feeling of um uh, not say panic as such but alertness and that alertness takes about 0.2 of a second 
to happen. And how that happens is that the release of adrenaline. And that's our fight or flight hormone, which I'm going to have a look at in a little while. But with that, how will that actually ha happen? That is down to the fact of this process called methylation. So it's like this big control panel and everything that goes on um, around your body is really to do with how everything's going on in your brain in this control panel and this process called methylation. But all these processes are running through your wiring system which is your nervous system through these things called neurons. And some of these neurons can deliver these, these messages at 250 miles per hour, believe it or not. And we have appro approximately 100 billion of these neurons. Unfortunately, as we start to age, as you can imagine, that everything starts to get worn out a little bit. And can you believe it's, it's into your late 20s that some of the, the memories and all the memory and the cognitive side of your brain starts to, um, uh, all the ability skills, I might say, you start to lose some of that from your, from your late 20s. The brain itself, if we look at what it is made up of, it, there is predominantly, there's water, a high proportion is water and also fats. Very importantly to understand that those, those two and our brain will take from our bloodstream around about 20% of oxygen. And when you look at your, um, we want a good delivery of oxygen to our brain at all times. And I want you to think about where it is actually placed in your body. It's an extremity of your body. So um, we know that the heart, which is here, it's got to help to pump blood around the body and, the, and this is going to deliver. We have about 60,000 miles of blood vessels and all of these blood vessels are delivering oxygen and nutrients all around our body. But always remember that there's a, a good proportion of oxygen is needed by our brain. Some other parts of the brain, and I just thought that, you know, sometimes we, we talk about um, supplements, but it's nice to kind of get a little bit of a, a background really on, on some areas. So when we're looking at the brain again, this diagram that you can see, um, this yellow kind of triangle um, shape in the brain, this is the hypothalamus. And the hypothalamus is something that controls body temperature, hunger, thirst, sleep, moods, your sex drive, and also the release of hormones from other glands. And this is quite interesting because people ask me this question a lot that, you know, when we start to get hot and sweaty at night, as ladies, especially um, because it can be down to our age, this is down to the fact that um, there's less estrogen being released from your body. And because of this, it's having an effect on our hypothalamus and our body temperatures, okay? That's why you often do find that you can get hot and sweaty, but also you can get really cold. And so this is one of the areas that comes from. Um, also, we have the um, amygdala, and the amygdala is working alongside the hypothalamus. And the amygdala is there to help with our emotions. But this part of it is to do with stress, worry, anger. And we, we know about a particular hormone called our stress hormone, which is cortisol. And what can happen is that um, if we are getting worried a lot, we are going to release a lot of cortisol, our stress hormone. And that's something that we don't really want to do. We want to try and keep our body <laughs> as calm as we our brain is as calm as we possibly can because one of the challenges we have if we are releasing too much cortisol then that can have an effect on the growth of new neurons which are I would say part of the um they're sending the the messages around our body and then the other gland which is of interest is the pituitary gland and the pituitary gland is there for love and happiness so that is a really nice gland that we really want to know about and then here, this is uh, this tiny, tiny little pea-sized area here is the pineal. And the pineal is the area of the, br the brain that is going to produce something called melatonin. And melatonin 
affects our sleep and melatonin is significantly released at night time. And I'm sure you're aware of melatonin, the importance of that. And if we move to the next slide, then the serotonin, which is actually found in your central nervous system, as well as being found in this Raphae nuclei, which is located at the brain stem, so as the name implies, it's at the base of the brain. And uh, this is where this serotonin comes from. And serotonin is actually known as your, your happy hormone. Now, um, there's a small amount of serotonin that's actually found in these particular areas. There's serotonin is found in other parts of the body, which I'm going to talk about a little bit later. And I think that's one of the key things to consider when we're talking about this, this brain and also our immune system, especially connection. So serotonin, interestingly enough, is a precursor for melatonin, which I've already mentioned, which is to do with sleep. And what precursor means, it's, it's like it activates, it starts the process. You could say it's a little bit like a, a chain reaction. So those, those two definitely work together. Now, another good thing to look at to support the release of serotonin, and this is getting back to what we have this connection in our, in our body to our mind, our body and our soul, is because we said about um, our immune system and our immune system, as we're gonna look at later, actually about 70% of that resides in our gut. And we do have serotonin that resides in our gut. So the kind of foods that we choose to eat can also have an effect on how we feel. So one thing you could look at is having a, a, a diet where you are eating foods that we know are Collapse is what you might say are the feel good foods. And uh, some of those could be things like turkey, um, cheese, fish, especially salmon, uh, tofu, um, pineapple, nuts, eggs. These are all known as foods that are the feel good foods can, and can have an effect on your serotonin. Now, with all that, uh, it's also important to remember not just eating good foods, nutrient dense foods, uh, looking at healthy fats as well, excuse me, looking at healthy fats, but also exercising your brain as well. And, uh, and also encouraging oxygen to your brain. So that's things like making sure that you are uh, working your brain by uh, reading is a really good thing to do, uh, building up your knowledge and also getting out and getting in the fresh air, getting some exercise to also help to get oxygen to get to the brain. Cognitive health. So this terminology, cognitive health, is the ability to clearly think and to learn and our, our memory and our reasoning and it's definitely an important component of brain health. And one of the things that I always remember from my uh, studies years ago is that I always imagine like the cogs were turning in, in your head. So that's how I always remember that terminology about cognitive health. You're probably aware that we are definitely living now in more of a, a digital world and because we are, that studies are indicating that the attention span is actually becoming shorter as we are living in this digital world and our, our minds can wander and our concentration can't be so good. And there are different age groups, you might, you might say, that have an interest in these specific areas. So let's just have a look at probably what you might consider to be the marketplace. If we go to the 18 plus, so these are the category of what you might consider to be young adults. I've already mentioned about, uh, we have young adults uh, going to college um, and university. So there's going to be a lot more studying, <laughs> a lot more studying <laughs> and also, um, um, with that in mind as well, uh, concentration, need to be sharp. 
And then also in this particular age group is participating in competitive sports. So that's a very important words there we're looking at endurance, stamina, our mental health, our mental focus. And that can also be through not just competitive sports, but also what we consider to be weekend warriors. Those people that like to get out and about, um, maybe just literally they put, throw all their energy into doing what they can do at weekends when they're probably not working. And then a huge area that has become of significance are uh, people looking at having sharpness and focus is actually what we call esports. That's uh, gamers and coders. So all of those specific areas are, are of uh, great interest for us. The next area are adults on the go, and um, this can mean not just necessarily um, if you are juggling your home and home life and your career. Um, children, stress, stress related mental burnout. Wow, because literally a lot of people are trying to juggle so much now. But if we just kind of just focus for a moment on what we call our office workers. And I know when we're saying office workers, it could be quite a loose terminology because it could be home based office workers as well. So what we're saying with that is specifically maybe people that are um, working from a computer, working from a laptop, uh, doing all the those kind of um, clerical work and um, making phone calls. Did you know that on, on average, that um, the, well, the average person that works in an office is dealing with around about 30 emails per hour and about 1500 phone, call, phone calls per week. So that's, I'm talking about the average person here. And I don't know about you, but more recently, I have definitely been doing more work online. I have been doing a lot of webinars. In fact, here I am doing a webinar right now. Um, I can be doing online meetings. And what happens is that when you are working maybe from home and you're not in an environment where you have your work colleagues, what starts to happen, the work that you have feels really, really concentrated and there isn't any maybe having a quick chat with a, a colleague that is maybe breaking up the work that you're doing and I've been talking to a lot of people that saying that they feel like the computer is drawing them in it's pulling them in and they are feeling absolutely drained at the end of the day and they may even be doing less actual work than they were before but the work that they're doing now feels really, really concentrated. So that's an interesting thing that um, all age groups, whether we're talking about 18 year olds, say on average 30 plus, maybe maturing adults, that there is this kind of feeling of foggy brain. Um, things can start, start to slip your mind. And we know as we get older, our brain shrinks. Um, and that's another thing as well as but maturing adults want to kind of keep themselves sharp. Um, this could be pre-retirement as well. So you can see there's different areas of people that have an interest to actually find the focus. So this is now taking you to the first product that I want to talk about. And this is our Forever Focus. And let's just have a look at First of all, some of the, the key ingredients, and then I'll go into them in a little bit more detail. So the Forever Focus is a combination of our vitamins and minerals with this important ingredient called Cognizin, which I'm just going to expand out on a little bit more um, in a moment. And I think it's important to understand that because we have our own research and development team with Forever, um, we have our own scientists, we manufacture our own products, that we can put the time, the effort and the energy in to seeing how if you take vitamins and minerals, which are also known as biochemicals. Now, please remember that our body runs on chemical reactions. These chemical reactions come from nature's chemicals or biochemicals. And when we take those specific 
vitamins and minerals, etc., these nutrients, and then we combine them with nature's botanicals, we're starting to see that marrying the two things together, they're starting to have a really, really great effect because they are complementing each other is probably a really good word that we can use. Ginkgo, so I'm going to talk about ginkgo in a little bit and also bacopa. And maybe bacopa and cognizin are, are new words for you, but actually, especially the ginkgo and the bacopa, you would probably see uh, these in, in or come across these in, in supplements um, as something that is uh, of interest, especially in this specific area. Now, Cognizin, and what I've done on this particular slide, just to help you, and, and I, what I'm going to encourage you to do is actually go and do some research yourself on this particular um, painted ingredient that we have added to our product, Cognizin. So there it is for you to actually see how it'll come up. Go and have a look at their particular website um, and uh, understand a little bit more about this particular ingredient that we have, we have added. Um, you can learn quite a lot from there and there are, there's, there's, uh, there's more information in there than I can share with you this evening. So that's some, uh, an interesting place for you to go and have a look at. But let me just explain what cognizant cognizant is. This is a form of something called citicoline and citicoline is a nutrient. In fact, it's a vital nutrient that is found throughout your body and it's found in every cell of your body for a, a reason. And it is of course found in the areas that we're focusing on and that is our brain as well as our eye. And did you know that your eye is classed as being the gateway to your brain and they, they really do complement each other as well. And Cognizin is the only citicoline which is out there with clinical studies on healthy subjects to support the benefits. So just go and have a little bit of a look at the, the website. So what does this citicoline do? Well, when we're talking about, let's just talk about the brain for a moment. So citicoline, it has a connection with phospholipids and phospholipids are kind of fats. When we look at our brain, our brain is made up, as I said, of water and fats. Um, and because we know that all of the connections of the brain, these, um, uh, these neurotransmitters, they, um, they, have a they are covered in a lining, which I'm gonna talk about in, in a moment. But phospholipids are very, very important within the brain. Now, one of the most important phospholipids is phosphatidylcholine. And phosphatidylcholine, actually equates to 30% of the brain's tissue. Another connection that citicoline has is with the mitochondria that we have within our brain. Now mitochondria are found completely throughout your body as well and the easiest way to understand what they are, they are like little batteries and the batteries are what produces the energy. So in your brain, the mitochondria are, are they actually creating your brain energy? And so it's important to make, to understand that your mitochondria, when you in, look at your brain, just like your muscles or your heart, these particular parts or these organs of our body, they need to have a lot of energy production. And that means we have thousands and thousands of these tiny little mitochondria producing all this energy for obvious reasons, because one of the things that I've already mentioned is, is this process called methylation. And methylation, remember, is the process that happens to like your, um, your control panel, okay? So um, this is a really important biochemical uh, vital nutrient that you have in your body. So go and enjoy learning a little bit more about Cognizin. Now, as I said, we really like to put together vitamins and minerals and botanicals. So alongside Cognizin, 
we have added some nutrients which you'll probably come across before. We have uh, zinc, we have vitamins B6, B12 and also B5 pantothenic acid. Now it's important to understand that all of the nutrients that we have in our body and these specific ones that we've got on the slide now, they have numerous roles within the body. But what I'm going to do then is just really focus on the roles that they have linked to what we're talking about now and probably the main reason why we've added these to our forever focus. Zinc contributes to normal cognitive function as I've already mentioned that. And then also to the protection from cells from oxidative stress and we've kind of gone through the fact that we can really put subject our body and subject our our brain to a lot of stress because of the stresses of life and uh, the way that people are feeling and the worry and uncertainty and we know that our lives go through the peaks and troughs of worry uh, stress and uncertainty so zinc is a really important mineral to support that as well as supporting the function of the immune system then we have uh, vitamins B6 and B12. Now, B vitamins are, are in abundance throughout the body because they have so many different roles. But specifically here, they're contributing to the normal functioning of the nervous system and also normal psychological function. And your psychological function is really your mood and your reasoning, as well as helping to reduce the feeling of tiredness and fatigue, and they also contribute to supporting the immune health. Now, B12, remember I was talking about this kind of um, the coating that we have, the fats. Well, let me just use this as a little bit of a, um, a demonstration. I don't know if I can show you this, but you know this, can you, can you see that, the wire that I have here in my hand? So this wire is coming out of my computer, and I want you just to imagine, oh, that wire, you can see it. Let me just move my camera a little bit more. Look at that. So um, I want you to imagine then that, well, you don't have to imagine, but inside this wire you have, a, yeah, inside this you have a wire and it's coated with this, this plastic coating. And around our brain, we have something called a myelin sheath. And the myelin sheath is like the, 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 the coating made out of healthy fats to protect the neurons or the nervous system that is that is within it. Now B12 actually, let me turn myself back again, B12 actually is involved in the production of the myelin sheath. I just thought that I would bring that one in as well because it's quite an interesting fact. Now alongside our cognizin and those uh, vitamins and minerals, this is where we have added uh, a selection of what we would class as our botanicals and remember they kind of work together they support and complement each other i'm sure you've heard of ginkgo ginkgo biloba uh, we actually use the leaf extract from the ginkgo and this is um these are trees actually that can grow and s survive for thousands of years and you have a, a male tree and you have a female tree and i remember years ago when i first learned about ginkgo i always remember learning and remember and that the fact that ginkgo have male and female trees and that the female trees even though the, the leaves of the ginkgo are very very pretty and the female trees actually they they let they let off not a very nice smell and odor and um even though they're very very pretty they had to stop planting the ginkgo biloba trees in suburbs because they were a little bit too smelly so that was just thought of an interesting fact if you want to uh, remember the ginkgo is a bit, a bit of a smelly tree but uh we use we use the leaf extract now the next two ingredients on the list that you can see there is the um, the rod uh, rhodolia and the bacopa, which I've already mentioned, and these are known as what we call adaptogenic. So both of those are adaptogenic, and I like to say that they're in the cl the class of being adaptogenic herbs and plants. And what that means is that your body can take from them what your body needs. Now your body is constantly trying to stay in balance. Your body's constantly trying to stay, what we say, normal. And this word is called homeostasis, okay? 
And we have added into this the, um, both of these specific ones and the Bacopa, what we use is actually the whole herb and not just a part of it. Now, Guarana. Guarana seed uh, is something that we have in some other products as well. I'm going to talk about one of those in a moment. And this is a natural source of caffeine. Now, caffeine is a stimulant. And as a stimulant, this is how a stimulant actually works. That a stimulant will um, get the glucose in your body ready for action. Um, your glucose is your energy that you're a fuel that your body runs from. And what kind of starts the process of this is that if you've had a stimulant, it stimulates the, um, the adrenaline and our adrenaline is our fight or flight hormone, as I've already mentioned. And then that means in turn, you're going to get the glucose ready in the cells because it's energy that we need to do what we do. Do we need to, do we need to fight or do we need to, to, to uh, run away, so to speak? So caffeine is, an, is a natural stimulant. And what we like about Guarana is that um, it, it's because it's natural, it doesn't have a, a spike like you would find if you were having um, a synthetic caffeines. Another ingredient that we have in here is actually green tea. Now, green tea also contains caffeine and green tea comes from the same tea plant as white tea and black tea. Um, the only difference between all three is the amount of processing that they've gone through. Now, green tea has more antioxidants, has more nutrients in it than a black tea, just so you know. And one of the key components of green tea that we have an interest in is this amino acid called L-theanine. Now, it's no wonder then that people, if they've had a busy day, a stressful day, and they want to relax and unwind, they like to have a nice cup of tea. Um, and that's probably the reason why, and why we have put green tea into this particular product. And then another amino acid, this one is L-tyrosine. And L-tyrosine also has a role in the body as a precursor for neurotransmitters. Now, I mean, amino acids have lots of roles in the body, but one of them is a precursor for this neurotransmitter, dopamine, as well as we've already mentioned, adrenaline. Remember what I said about precursor, it's like starts the whole chain reaction. Now, I've mentioned the, the focus, the forever focus, and I'm just going to bring in here the fab. And you're thinking, oh gosh, this is interesting. Now, one of the things that you can really see a difference with is actually taking our focus and taking it with our Forever Fab. Now, how many focus so, um, tablets do you need to have? Well, they're that little capsules, actually. It's important that you take four. If you are shocked <laughs> and think, why do I need to take four? I want you to see the amount of the ingredient of this cognizant that is present in taking four. And you'll see that and the research that has, been got, has gone into when you take 250 milligrams of citicoline, okay? So that is the reason why you take four. When we make our products, People sometimes question, why do we have to take two of this or four of that or even six of something else, for example, the Arctic Sea? It's all to do with making sure the product that we are creating, the capsule or the tablet that has been designed, is going to be in the best, in the best way, manufactured in the best way to support bioavailability. And bioavailability is what happens with the particular ingredients from the supplement you're taking uh, how it gets into the body so we are focusing on the uh, when it's digested uh, absorbed um, how it's metabolized how it quickly it leaves the body and this is really important as well because we are making our products to be as 
bioavailable as they possibly can. And that's why sometimes you understand about, well, why would you take two of that and four of that? It's all to do with the sizing and making sure that it's going to support bioavailability. Okay, so please remember, take four of the Forever Focus. And then what you, the reason you're taking it with the fab is because um, this also contains caffeine. Okay, they love each other. The ingredients that you have in the Forever Focus and also the ingredients you have in the fat. So if you are looking for, you know, if you've had a really, really busy day or you're thinking, oh my gosh, I've, um, I've still got, I don't know, you could be driving long distance or you are a um, working on night shifts, whatever it is, and you've got still a lot of hours to go ahead then, um, you know, fab is something that you can uh, definitely take. Now, okay, we're saying about taking, um, taking this in, in the morning. Um, and definitely, if you feel you've got a long day, then, then you would take it in the morning. If you know that your day is going to be longer later on, uh, this is just a tip for you, there's no reason why you can't take it a little bit later because then you feel you're going to get the effect for longer when you need it. Does that make sense? So yes, just take it at the time that you feel that you will need to have that support from the ingredients, the, for example, the B vitamins uh, to support in the reduction of tiredness and fatigue, etc. So what we have in here is we have, um, we have two drinks actually. We have, this is the one on here is the Fab. Um, we also have the Fabex. Now the Fab actually contains glucose so you're, you're giving yourself a little bit more fuel remember your body runs on glucose uh, this particular product is also high well, has a rich source of our um our b vitamins vit vitamins uh b3 b6 and b12 we also have b5 already mentioned about b5 and then also we have uh, sodium potassium and some more guarana seed extract um and remember that is a, a natural caffeine and then we have this selection of adaptogenic herbs. Remember, I've already mentioned adaptogenic herbs. Now, this is one of those kind of, I always like to say, use these terminologies, yeah, as your um, USPs, um, your ADX7 technology. Yeah, so this is a really interesting um, energy drink, sports and energy drink with this technology. Okay, so they're going to, their substance, they're going to support your body when you exercise. So if you are, are talking to people that are interested, to have to, especially to do with sport, then the combination of taking the fab and taking the forever focus. Um, well, wow, what an amazing combination. If you want to take the FabX, the FabX doesn't contain any glucose. All right. Um, that generally is what I would call a hypotonic drink. And a hypotonic drink is where it's very useful after you have exercised when maybe you have, um, you want to uh, support your, your body to rebalance. And in fact, hy hypotonic means it's going to support your body and get back into balance faster than drinking water after you've exercised, actually. That's just um, another little um, um, tip for you. Now, as we are moving on, um, I, I did say about the, uh, the, the mind and the body connection. Well, if we're looking at our, we've spoken about our neurotransmitters, our nervous system, um, and we're talking about our brain connections and everything. Well, we have another nervous system and that is actually within your digestive system. And your digestive system is also referred to as your gut okay so your digestive system is another word for your gut so this gut brain connection as i say it's 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 dubbed as your second brain and this actually has around about 500 million neurons remember it's these nerve cells that we've already mentioned that is also part of the brain sending messages now these line the gut wall or your digestive system so lining the gut wall and they actually um produce Remember, we've already mentioned serotonin. We've said that serotonin, you, you have part, um, some of that is in, um, in your brain. You also have serotonin. 70% 70, uh, 70 of your serotonin resides in your gut. Uh, the other 30%, some of it's in your brain, some of it you find in your, in your bloodstream. 
Um, but this is important that how you feel and how your and your mood um, is can actually come from from here. And and so this connection is really important about the foods you're eating, your nerves, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So um, yeah, I just thought that was kind of interesting. But then moving on, that's also in your digestive system, your gut. 70% of your immune system resides in your gut too. So there's this, this really important connection between your brain and your immune system and your immune system and your brain, okay? So that then leads me on to the, the final product that I want to talk about. Um, and this is the final slide, just in case you're starting to think about questions, I can see I've got four questions, four or five questions come in. So if you do have any more questions and we want to have them answered before we finish this evening, then just pop them up there. Okay, so the ImmuBlend. Um, the ImmuBlend is one of the key products that you would be taking to support your body's natural defense system. And as we are heading into another autumn and winter when I said that the nights are becoming longer, the days are becoming shorter, even the days that we have, we know they are going to be gloomier because it's just the seasons and sunlight, going to have less sunlight. One of the most important things about sunlight is that sun exposure is um, going to give us the best production of vitamin D in our body. And vitamin D is so essential for so many different things, including our, our mood. Um, but also vitamin D is essential for a normal function of the immune system. One of the important things about this product is that the amount of vitamin D that we have in this product, uh, the ImmuBlend has 10 micrograms. Now, uh, if you want to look at the symbol of micrograms, it looks like a back to front U and a little G, okay? So that's what the symbol is, is a microgram. Milligram, which is a bigger, is bigger than a microgram, it literally says MG. So we need to have, now it is suggested, we need 10 micrograms of vitamin D in, in supplements. And this one is the, the product that we have with the, the most vitamin D and it's actually 10 micrograms. So if people are asking you about the, the supplement you would suggest for your vitamin D, this is the one. And alongside the vitamin D, we also have high amounts of vitamin C and high amounts of zinc. And collectively, these three biochemicals, um, they all support the normal function of the immune system. Then we have lactoferrin. Now, this is an interesting ingredient. Now, lactoferrin is found naturally in your body. It is known to be a glycoprotein and you find it in different fluids throughout the body, but it is specifically and of interest found in the gut, okay? And found in the gut, it is linked to your immune system as well and colostrum. So this is one of the bodily fluids that you find it in abundance in. Colostrum is the milk that mammals produce. And if we talk about humans, we know that the, the first milk, you might say, from the newborn baby will take from mum is this colostrum. And the colostrum is going to help to support the newborn babies natural defense system okay but lactoferrin is a glycoprotein that can quite easily bind with iron and as i said it is um, found within the body especially in those areas that mentioned and then we have some mushrooms shiitake and matake mushrooms and they contain lots of different nutrients but the one that's important to um, to this particular product and why it has been added is because it can it actually has something called a polysaccharide, which is um, it's, a, it's a sugar. But this particular sugar, natural sugar, is called beta glucan. So it's the beta glucan aspect that we have an interest in. And then finally, another ingredient in here is the fructo oligosaccharides. Um, FOS. So you will see 
fruct oligosaccharides often written as FOS in supplements. Now, this is a naturally occurring insoluble fiber and fiber that is insoluble becomes food for the healthy bacteria that resides in your digestive system. And we need to keep our healthy bacteria in balance. We like to have a balance of around about 85% good can cope with about 15% bad. We don't really want it to change any more than that. And that is um, going to support the healthy bacteria, which we refer to as microbiome. And in turn, our microbiome will also support our body, our gut, our immune system, etc. So they're the connections that to me, if people are thinking about mind, body and soul, the Forever Focus and the Immu Blend are the key ones. Try your focus with your fab. You can also have your focus with uh, a cup of coffee. In fact, what I do in the morning, I have my full focus and I have it with my cup of coffee. In fact, I've written quite a bit about this that you might find useful in, the, in um, a blog that I've done um, all about um, the, the changes, mood changes, etc. So just go and um, if you want to to use that as a bit of research or backing or share it maybe uh, with customers. I'm just talking about some extra products that I would take as well. So that blog is found on Forever Knowledge. Okay, um, and with that, let's have a look at the questions. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop sharing my screen, if that is okay, and I can see the questions um, a lot easier if I stop sharing my screen. Okay, let's have a look at the, uh, the questions that we've got here. Um, just bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. So a first question is taking the fab, does it matter if it's the sugar-free or the regular fab? No, it doesn't. The only difference, what you're looking for really is the combination of the adaptogenic herbs. You've got aloe in there, obviously, and the caffeine. So that's the key. They're, they're the, oh, and well, you've got your B vitamins and everything. So forget about the sugar. It's about getting those other ingredients in. Um... If you need to keep an eye on the question, is fab okay with people uh, with fluctuating blood sugars? Well, of course, um, with that question, then you don't, you, you would not have, if you just wanted to keep your, your uh, reduce your sugar intake, obviously, then it's the fab X is the one for you. Um, a question about B12. B12 has a lot of um, functions, um, uh, reduction of tiredness and fatigue, um, homocysteine, red blood cells. I'm just trying to think of the more nervous system. Um, what else have I said? Yeah, I've said homocysteine, cysteine, um, immune system. Um, yeah, I think I've mentioned quite a few of them, but B, the B vitamins are um have a lot of roles within the body i think i you know generally um lots of different roles in the body that are the everyday things so don't, let, let me just think about so the red blood cells um iron 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 uh, red blood cell formation i'm trying to think of them more now nervous system reduction of tiredness and fatigue homocysteine controlling your homocysteine levels and homocysteine is is a substance in your blood and we don't want a lot of homocysteine in our blood. It's um, so B12 helps to keep, keep that level normal. Cysteine, which is um, also another um, uh, hormone. So I think I've, I've gone through all of those. Um, next question. Two different fabs. Um, yeah, there's two different fabs. So one contains glucose, which is the fab, which is the red one. And then the silver one is the Fabex, which it doesn't contain any carbohydrates or glucose, basically. And the one that you use, yeah, the one you use after exercise is the best one for that, really, is the Fabex because it's hypotonic. 
The fab, if you're doing exercise, the red one contains glucose and glucose is a fuel that your body runs on. So you can take that before exercise and you can also take it during exercise as well. Um, right, a question coming in about can about children taking taking products. I think one of the most important things to remember is that generally speaking, some of our products, especially like the focus that is um, is made because it, any any product that contains caffeine, um, we don't recommend products with caffeine for children. Uh, when we're talking about children, we are generally talking about it's um, 18 and over. These are just um, some basic rules, rules and regulations you might say. And um, so answer that question. Um, same question again about the fab having glucose and the FabEx is glucose free and yes um, that one of the things is you can take you can take the fab the question is um, they can help both help the body when you exercise yeah as I said during and after now sometimes when people have exercised and they feel like they have been running out of um, steam you might say and maybe you're feeling a little bit lightheaded then you may find the addition of the glucose after you've exercised this could be to do with your blood glucose levels if you feel a little bit like lightheaded does that make sense um you could take the fab which is the red one after exercise um, because you then be giving yourself a little bit of glucose um, next question. How much of that, the focus capsules would you recommend if the person finds four too much? Um, I think it's like anything that what I want you to do is go and have a little bit of a read about Cognizant, understand why you'd be taking four, understand why you'd be taking 250. Uh, milligrams of uh, acetylcholine and then everybody's different like I say you may find that you know if that is too much you find oh that is too much then um, just reduce it down and find which is your the happy amount for you um, let me carry on da, 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 da. Um, Taking the forever focus, is it okay to take the, um, the four tablets now and then or must be taken every day for the effect to be visible? No, no, no. I, I think that if you, if you know, I mean, I, I'm just being really honest with you. I take, I, take, take, I take the focus every day. The reason for that is because um, I love it. I just feel so connected so sharp and I do lead a very busy life anyway um, and I suppose it's just that scenario of, of the habit I've got into if you're someone that feels that you want to take it the times to suit yourself like all of our products you know you are in control of what works for you okay I am a great believer in looking at our products and looking how they fit into our world not our will fits into them. Okay, um, Forever Daily has five milligrams of vitamin D and is labelled as 100% recommended daily um, intake. Is this not the case now? Yeah, um, actually, to be honest, you are 100%, 100% right, that is 100% recommended daily allowance. Yeah, what has happened more recently, it has been shown that really we need to increase from the recommended amount of five milligrams to 10 milligrams. So this is um, information that has come out more recently, seeing the benefits of, of doubling it. So even though that is stays on that to 100%, now what is coming back is that you are better to look at taking 10 milligrams, okay? Um,
As far as breastfeeding mums and taking the Immublend, um, once again, if you have any concerns as if you are breastfeeding about taking supplements, I'm really sorry, but it's one of those kind of questions that's hard for me to answer. Um, that I can't say yes and I can't say no. That if you have any concerns or the breast, if you're breastfeeding, any concerns about taking any specific supplements that we have then the best advice i can give you and it's probably not <laughs> to hear is to go and speak to the health practitioner who is supporting with that and that's that is a kind of a general rule that we say if people do have questions over that especially your customers and um uh, children can um take our supplements once again if you have um fields of greens yeah calcium if they can get the calcium down them <laughs> yes of course they can um the um yeah the vitamin d in the forever emu blend and um, that is a that has 10 uh, milligrams in it as i've said um how long can someone take active pro b oh wow it's designed to have every day if you want to take it every day i take it every day why do i take it every day because i know every single day i want to reset my body because my body has gone through all our bodies are going through the peaks and troughs of life every day we don't know what's going on in there what it's fighting the battle it's fighting and how much good bacteria are surviving and i want to top up every day i'm going to get my reinforcements back in to fight another day so definitely the forever active pro b has been designed for you to take every day if that suits your lifestyle um and also how long can someone take the vital five for do you know something about that the vital five is one of our boxes of products that is so overlooked those are um the key products as it says vital five i mean they are once again have been designed that you can be taking those products every single day um yeah i'm sorry we can't get the focus in ireland i yeah um we can get it in northern ireland can you get it in northern ireland um would i recommend the emu blend over the forever daily well a lot of you have actually heard from me before and heard me say this about my one two three now as i said i have literally i think it was last week it was put up a blog that i've written and in that i talk about my one two three your favorite drinking gel take the daily and take the uh, forever active pro b there's my there my one two three base now the reason i'm saying the daily would be your base is because when you're drinking your aloe we know aloe vera contains 75 no nutrients and they're all in perfect balance however you're not getting your recommended intake of all of those even though they're all in there you're not getting the percentages that are recommended um, every single day is your 100 percent. all right so the forever daily is going to give you your i like to call it like insurance policy every single day then you're getting your your basics of everything so that will be part of your your basics the immu blend is where you want to top up and support so you're adding in to something else so my one two three would be would be my drinking gel taking my daily taking my pro b and then the immu blend is where you are um revving up or topping up you might see more support for that specific area of your um, immune health right what else have we got um yeah i, I think the question from nita is the same forever daily and immune blend you asked me that um you can take yes you can take the forever focus with your um with your aloe all i've done really is shared the idea a bit of a tip about being able to take, to take your your um your focus with your fab because um, they really really do complement each other especially if you think you really need to get yourself sharp and focused as the name implies i think we're nearly there with just a few more questions um oh i said a few more questions i have loads of questions so what i'm going to do is i'm going to answer one more question and then if i haven't answered suddenly i've got 
<laughs> a lot of questions come in, which is wonderful. So I am definitely going to tomorrow morning, I promise you, I am going to look at all your questions that I haven't been able to answer and I'm going to respond to them. I will, I will I have you, I'll, I'll get your information and then I'll send it back to head office and then head office will um, send out my answers to you. So yeah, um, so please, I, otherwise we're going to be here for a, for a long time. So I definitely, it's one of my things, I always like to answer with these questions if I haven't um, answered them. Tonight. So let's just do one more, shall we? And, um, if oh if a customer wants to support the immune system would you suggest aloe and immu blend over forever daily well i think once again is i'm just going to tell you what i tend to say to people is that as a general health and well-being for everyday health and well-being as my base would be drinking the gel taking the daily and taking the forever active probing that is the advice that i will give and then you can add in if somebody said to me yeah but i just want to be able to i don't want to be taking all of that what would you suggest then it would be taking the drinking gel and then adding in the immune blend all right so if they specifically want to focus just on their immune health all right they want to be putting the the uh the vitamin c um uh, the zinc and the, the D in there, then that's the one I would go to, the lactoferrin, amazing ingredient, et cetera, et cetera. So drinking the gel and taking the immune blend if they don't want to do the one, two, three and add in. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, last, last, last question. Right, this is the last one. Can you please explain bioavailability a little more and why our products are superior in this way? Um, it's really difficult to kind of say about why our products are superior. I am a great believer that we are professionals and uh, we always, um, we talk about our products and we don't kind of say, oh, ours are better than that company because that's not professional. All we can do is talk about what we do with our products because we have the knowledge of that. We don't have the knowledge of, of other products. So generally speaking, bioavailability is the way that, um, when a supplement enters the body, how it actually is administered, how it is, um, goes through your digestive system, how it's absorbed, the level of absorption from before it is used up or metabolized, before it is eliminated from the body. So what you are actually putting into your body to what your body actually gets and benefits from could be two different things. So what we do as a company, we test our products all the time and I have been to Forever Nutraceuticals numerous occasions and I have been and I've seen the scientists and I've seen the researchers literally doing that testing over and over and over and over again of products to make sure they're bioavailable. And the easiest way to think about it is that they, they have like this, this screen and it looks like, you know, um, a heart trace that's going up and down like that. And each section is that, for example, it's got to reach the right peaks to show that if the, the B vitamins or the zinc, um, the vitamin D, it's reaching the right, and if it reaches the right part and the, creates the right trace, they know they're getting, it's bioavailable, the right amount of vitamin D is reaching the body, etc. So that's how they test it. If they're not happy with the trace, then that batch is um, discarded. So that's how we personally, as a company, will look at and check the bioavailability of the supplement that we are creating. Right, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, um, there are a lot more questions that I need to answer and I promise that I will get through all of them. And um, I just want to thank you all for, for joining me this evening. And um, just wanna say, just checking that, yeah, okay. Just wanted to say thank you for joining me. I hope you found that useful. Please go and check out the blog. As I said, that's kind of following on from what I've done here. And um, I wish you um, a great weekend and I look forward to catching up again with you soon and sharing my knowledge. Um, take care and bye for now.